it's Erica here. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Um, today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be reorganizing my black pink photo card binder. Um, black pink are currently in this three inch binder along with eyes on ignore the and hyphen along with eyes on a wiki wiki. As you can see, it is very full, literally to the brim, like it's at the very max overflowing um and black pink take up literally this much of the binder <laughs> like without black pink this would be so empty so today i'm going to be moving wikimiki and eyes one into this one and a half inch binder i'm not sure if i'm going to be keeping them in here um, I do want to reorganize a few others, but I do know for sure that Blackpink, I want them to have their own binder, so I'm just moving the other groups into here for now, and then I'll figure out with everything else what I'm going to do. Um, considering I want to start collecting more groups, which I know I shouldn't, but considering I do, I think I will have to just change my binder layout for everybody other than BTS and Blackpink entirely. Um, yeah. So, this is just a Staples Better Binder. Um, it's like what part of their, I don't know, it's a special collection where they have these pastel colors. I originally got this for school, but I didn't end up using it for school because last semester I did not do anything. So I'm going to be using it for this instead. Yeah, so to start off, what I'm gonna do is basically just take out um, Eyes on a Wiki Wiki stuff and put them into this binder obviously yeah and i'm going to put them into the purple binder also thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers i don't know i don't know when this will be going up so i may have already said it in my unboxing my blocking seasons greetings one as like a voiceover because i recorded that way before but yeah throughout this video i am also like i'm going to be doing more than just separating the binders i'm also going to be reorganizing layouts and adding some placeholders so for that, all the templates you are going to see are by this person at bv underscore trades on Instagram. And they do them for all of the members. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to be using just to kind of figure stuff out because there's some items that like I don't have but would like to have. And basically they make just everything in the templates. So they have one with photo cards. And it's like everything you could imagine, like sponsorships, broadcasts, everything. I just wanted to mention that because my BTS ones where I do this kind of video, I've had multiple people ask me where I get my templates from. So yeah. Also, um, a large part of this video might be time lapses. I'm not sure yet, just because um, my mouth kind of hurts right now. Like my lip is swollen, so it hurts to talk sometimes. And also, um, I don't know, there's just not a lot of talking to do sometimes when doing these kind of things. So, yeah, I might just be watching YouTube and doing time lapses at some points. Anyways, let's get started. So, for right now, what I'm going to do is just ugh, flip to my eyes one and Mimi section and we'll take those out. This is one of my eyes on a wiki wiki stuff. It's a big, like a decent sized chunk, but now I'm gonna see how much room I have left in this binder. Hopefully it's a decent amount. Okay. Yes, this is enough room for me for now. So that is it now. There's still a decent amount of room. Oh my God, stuff is falling out. <laughs> this photo card just fell out. There's still a decent amount of room to grow, I think, considering Blackpink don't come out with albums very often, sadly. Um, I think this should be good for a while. The only issue is when they come out with DVD stuff, there's always so many larger inclusions, which takes up a really large stack. But I think this should be enough room to grow for a while. So I'm going to push this off to the side. And then I'm going to put all my... Wikimiki and Eyes One stuff in here. I haven't made a cover page yet for this, just because, like I said, I do not know if I plan on keeping them like this. Um, I do also collect twice 
Luna, Red Velvet, plus like I have random cards from like soloists I collect and stuff like that. And also the group card. Um, so those are all in one binder now, but I'm thinking maybe I'll change out the setup a bit as well. While I'm doing this, I'll talk. Uh, recently, I've really, really, really been wanting to collect um, TXT, which would be Yeonjin or Subin. I think I am going to collect them and I might just end up buying all their albums like I did for Eyes One and making a video about it. Just because, I don't know, I just, I've been wanting to collect TXT since like their second album, second mini, whatever it was. And I just kind of finally want to do it, especially since I'm, I think I'm also going to end up collecting in hyphen. Um, it would be cool to kind of collect all the big hit boys. Although I know and hyphen are technically under a B lift, so they're not really under big hit, but TXT and BTS, then it'd be cool to collect all the big hit boys. And I just love TXT so much. So I've recently really been wanting to collect them as well as over the past few days, I've been really getting into WJSN. I just, I love WJSN, WJSN's music so much and I've loved it for such a long time. I don't know why I haven't decided to like stand or get into them sooner but especially i've been watching this one youtuber i'll leave her link or her name on the screen and like a link in the description below who collects wjsn and all their photo cards are so cute and all their merch and everything is adorable and i want to collect them so bad so i've been trying to get more into like them and standing them and i really originally thought my bias would be sola or bona um or there was one other person maybe subin but after watching videos i think it might actually be yoram so i'll have to see with that and then i also want to collect unha from g friend but i know that would be way too difficult because g friend don't have a huge collecting community so i kind of have to buy off her cards so recently i've kind of just been considering buying like my favorite unha cards or collecting just her cards from walpurgis night because those especially are top tier but yeah there's just so many people and also like stacy i've really been wanting to collect sumin is my bias but i have this rule with rookies where i kind of have to wait until they at least have two albums or like two title songs out whatever until i collect them because there's been some rookies like um rocket punch where i've loved their debut but then their second song really disappoints me or even like everglow i loved um arrival of everglow i bought the album but then Dun Dun or Adios just really disappointed me and they've grown back and I love their music now so I also kind of want to collect Everglow but I don't know that was my mini rant whatever anyways if you see a video of me setting up for new collections soon just ignore it but this is also again enough room I still have to add in one realer stuff for Yeti but that'll only take up like two pages maybe um and I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with my Weemi collection, if I'm going to continue collecting Dodang or if I'm just going to end up collecting one of the members. But I know that I do want to start collecting some of their signed cards and broadcast cards just because I've seen like Kiss Kiss broadcasts go for really cheap on Wanjong for those members. But that's not, this video isn't about them. But yes, so this video or this binder I think is pretty solid for them for now. As you can tell, this video might be kind of chatty or it might be just time lapses. It'll probably be a mix of both, but yes. So I apologize if there's a bit of a glare at the top. It's cause like the pages kind of bend a bit like, so yeah. Um, I want to go through and reorganize pages. I think I'm gonna start off with all the album inclusions and then move on to non-album stuff afterwards and kind of just go in sections i think what i might end up doing actually is just kind of going through and changing layouts for anything i want to change layouts for um first and then i will go in and flip stuff around add in placeholder stuff like that so i do kind of want to change the layout for this square up page i don't love it so we're gonna work on this first. I'm gonna these two go together. I never know what version is what. 
paper square up so I don't really like four page spreads but I've tried already incorporating the kill this love and square up cards on one page and I hate how that looks so I just see what go together I don't you see I just I feel like the square up cards none of them really match I feel like I kind of like it more like this. I feel like this looks cute enough, so I'm going to stick with this. And then I was considering putting one of these two in the middle. I think the solo one looks cute there actually, so I think I'm gonna stick with that. And I should get out my pencil holders. Okay, so that is how this page turns out. I actually think it looks really cute. Yes, so that is the back. It's kind of like black pink, black pink. And I think this looks really cute. I'm a lot happier with it than before. The only issue now is I don't know what to do with this. <sighs> That's fine. Now for Kill This Love, I thinking, I'm thinking maybe I'll kind of do the same thing and then put this in the center. If the lighting's kind of odd, I apologize. I'll try and correct it in editing, but... I think this looks kind of cute because it's like black pink, black pink. Ooh, okay. I vibe with this. I think it looks cute. Um, however, I don't like the difference in color. And then I currently really like the way I have laid out my How You Like That page. So I am going to keep this. And also my The Album page. Um, the cards do kind of bug me. I'm thinking of actually, I don't know, because I, I like this. I usually like to do five spreads like this more, but I feel like it would look good. Like I want this card in the middle. I think I'm going to change it for this now, just because I like having the ones facing the side, like not at this corner of the minor. So for now, it's just going to stay like this. And then I still really like the way this looks. I'm just gonna figure out if I want to collect any more for pre-order stuff for the album. I don't know, the with drama one might be really pretty. So I do also wanna go through and start making prettier placeholders. That's for another video, but her with drama one is just really pretty because it's like, I love that photo of her and the hollow is so nice. So, for now, I am just going to put a placeholder for it on the back. Um, it does kind of ruin the look at the spread of it. I don't think I'll keep it there. I think once I get it in, maybe I'll change out the layout, but. Oh, wait, oh my God. Oh my God. Hold on a second. Sorry, this is a mess. Okay, wait, that would actually be so cute with the with drama one right there. So that is how this is gonna stay. No, as of now, I think I'm just, I was thinking maybe I'll get Rosé's with drama one and do the same layout, but I think I'm not, I don't love hers as much as Jenny's. So I think for now, I'm just gonna stick this and this will stay the same. Actually, yeah. I'm just gonna switch these around. This stays the same. There's not much I can do with solo. Kill this love stays the same. Okay. Now here's what I wanted to update. So I think I mentioned in my photo card collection video. I want to collect all these. So there is three so far. They're the Japan fan club Christmas postcards. There's one and then that one. And then the third one just came out, which is also horizontal. So it would have been nice if there was two verticals and one horizontal one but what i think i'm gonna do since this one is my favorite is i'm gonna put this here 
and then I'll make placeholders for the other two to go in these spots. As for this, I think I'll just put them on the back here. Or I'll do it the other way around, actually, maybe. That kind of looks cute. And then those on the back, yeah. So I think that looks cute there. And then I'll just make placeholders for these. So for larger items, I kind of just use the sticky notes as placeholders. And I think that'll look super cute. I am really happy to collect these. Um, I want to get them quite soon, honestly, because they shouldn't be that hard to get, so. However, me just realizing <laughs> this should not be here at all so i'll need to find a new spot for that then this is the square up pre-order card and i do not know where to put it so not me literally reorganizing as we speak another thing i want to do is I want to store stuff by era, so here are all my nine pocket stuff, then we get into the rest of the photo cards, but these are like, I don't know, I don't consider them photo cards as much, so they will have to go after everything. I don't know how to explain this, it's like the way I used to do it before was everything was by size, but I want to start doing it now so that it's like era- then size if that makes sense so all the nine pocket stuff will be first and then i go through eras so it would be then like all the square off larger stuff then all the kill this love lar or solo larger stuff then kill this love then the album that's how i want to do it if that makes any sense at all so i was thinking i'm not really planning on getting the other one of these but i could one day get it like the pink version because i think there is one and i think that would be cute so for now i'll have it like this i'm not gonna make a placeholder um but one day if i see it for a good price i might pick it up these keep sliding is the issue i kind of want to take the stickers out and put them on display somehow I don't know how to display these. I'm gonna get out of four pocket. This might take way longer than I thought it would. Wow, it fits literally perfectly. <laughs> Yellow backs of these are kind of ugly, so I might try cutting out white like papers to kind of make it look nicer, but. That's for another time. So these are the stickers then. I don't know why I didn't do that beforehand. It looks so much nicer. Then we move on to how you like that. So obviously, toast cards are gonna stay the same. I should probably change this sleeve out because this one's really dusty. I don't know why actually. I think I'm just gonna sleeve these. I have these sleeves that I use for trades and stuff sales and stuff for like larger items but I don't really want to take out a new four pocket because I don't know then I won't end up using this one and it's just a waste that's the issue when sleeves get dusty is like you don't want to use them so then it's kind of just a waste so I'll sleeve these ones I love watching these reorganizing videos but I hate editing them more than anything in the world because like honestly it is just the ton of time lapse is ba basically but like it's so much stuff that you have to go through because it usually takes so long like i think i already have 40 minutes of footage like but half of that is time lapses or it'll be cut out because it's me going to get sleeves you know okay this one's kind of crooked but i'm not really going to fix it the backs are a little rough just because like you can see the lining, but i'm down with that so now on to the DVD stuff. 
this isn't on the way. I'm 99% sure it was lost in a trade. Like I said, so I think now I'm just gonna go through everything and then I'll go through the template and make placeholders after if there's anything I wanna change. So this will be my section for like tour DVDs. Then we'll have season's greetings and welcoming kits. Um, yeah, I put the pre-order benefits. I think I'm actually gonna put the pre-order benefits after just because they're eight pocket items. Uh, no, it's kind of random here, but also I kind of like it. I think I should technically re-sleeve these because for black pink i use dragon shield sleeves now but i think they're fine in the ultra pro sleeves from before these have all been re-sleeved i still really like this layout and then this is fine it's nothing that special and then this stuff i recently put in so there's nothing that i want to change from it i'm debating no i like the way this looks so then here we move on to Summer Diaries plus like random stuff. I think I need to change this up a bit though. And then I'm just gonna change this filler to a nicer one. I'm still not sure if I'm going to get the voice film, but I think one day I will. So there. Uh, yeah, I just put these here because I don't know, I think they look nice on this page, but the reason I moved this is so that it would like Summer Diaries continues. I look at pages from top to bottom, so. These technically should be back here, but then these would just have a three page, unless there's more Summer Diaries merchandise that I can get. Let me check out that actually. Yeah, those are the only Summer Diaries items. So, I don't know, because this the next one had so many items i'm just gonna keep these three cards here and then obviously this one rose one on the back this summer diary stuff can stay light stick stuff random stuff that's all good now i get into the larger inclusions so this should change i don't know why it's like this i look at stuff from top to bottom like i know some people the way they store their stuff um one YouTuber I've noticed that does it is Chaebomb. He like stores it chronologically like this way, if that makes sense, but I don't. And then this is just the card that I got in my group order for these because it was like a Christmas card set. So I just put it there as like a filler. I really wish I had a three pocket vertical sleeve for these. Again, I just put these in, so this stuff is fine. This should definitely go at the very end, though. Then this is a poster for the welcoming collection of 2020, I think. That should be here. And then we have the Summer Diaries postcards. Um, what if these fit in four pockets? Hold on a second. They do fit in four pockets, but like, do I want to keep them in these sleeves? Kind of. I think for now, I'm going to keep them in these sleeves just because I don't hate the way it looks. But another day, I might change it to four pockets. Then this will go at the back. And after all the DVD larger items will come my more random stuff. So that's where this will go. And now the question is just going through looking at everything so i'm gonna take a break and go through and do this okay hi editing erica here i apologize if you can hear my computer fan i don't have a proper mic on me but enjoy this stunning jenny fan cam while i talk a bit um basically what i planned for this last part of the video was i went through the wish list as i just said and i kind of chose out things that i hadn't planned on collecting but i really liked the look of and decided I wanted to collect and then basically I made placeholders for them if that makes sense so that was what the next few clips were gonna be but I have since gone through and searched for some of these items and realized some of them 
like I tr- <laughs> there's so much money man I tried to choose one specifically that I thought would be more on the cheaper side because obviously Blackpink has some expensive ass shit sometimes um so I didn't go through any broadcasts or anything like that so I thought but yeah so a lot of the next clothes might be cut so if it's very jumpy and doesn't really make sense I apologize but that's basically what happened here so I'm gonna cut out the ones that I'm not planning on getting anymore yeah okay bye okay hello so i've gone through and made a list of everything that i want basically for jenny i kind of just collect whatever i really really like that isn't twenty thousand million dollars so if i was rich as fuck i would collect this lentil from the tour like her their 2018 concert but 20 million dollars so i will not be doing that and one day i'm telling y'all one day i will get this broadcast photo card and this one, it'll happen. One day I'll become super rich and buy it. But for now I have made this list. So this is all the larger inclusions and the smaller inclusions. I have a feeling some of these might be really expensive items like the Neighbor V Live Poem event Polaroids. These Polaroids you see right here, but they're just so cute. So I'm just gonna add them in and then I'm gonna do my research later on how much they usually go for it and stuff like that and i will also be going through and seeing if there's any other things that i thought would be more expensive that maybe are a bit cheaper actually so that's what's gonna happen i'll share what i would like to get though so for the photo card or the postcard size items like just larger size items i want to get both her pre-debut postcards because i think they are absolutely stunning and then what else i wanted to get the blackpink house dvd fan club postcard i do also want to get these someday eventually the first fan club goods but i feel like these will be pretty expensive and i would like to get the loft blackpink purchase benefit postcard hopefully that's not that much because it seems like a pre-order thing but i want blonde hair jenny merch because it's superior and then the welcoming collection 2019 polo obviously because i collect all welcoming collection goods um, I just didn't buy it when it came out, sadly. Then, I think that was it for this. Normal photo card size items. I want the Lightstick version ones. Photo cards, I don't know if I'll end up getting them because I know they go for a lot, but they would be nice to have. Um, I do also want, obviously, the welcoming collection photo cards. And then, random, I know, but I want the Hello Bubble photo cards i don't know especially this one i think she looks stunning so those are what we're gonna set up for now um and then like i said i'll be going through after and looking at average prices and stuff of these things and depending on that i'll either be like yeah nah i i can't this is way too much fucking money for this i'm not gonna get it anymore or I'll see stuff that I wasn't gonna get because I thought it'd be too much money and realize it's actually not that much money and end up getting it, if that makes any sense at all. Anyways, all this stuff will kind of go in the random section other than the welcoming collection stuff. Hey lol, it's me again. Sorry if you can hear my computer fan. Again, it's gotten louder since the last voiceover. Um, basically, I, in the next clip, or in the last clip, you saw me saying the welcoming collection stuff and stuff like that and making placeholders now. So basically, the Lightstick version 1 stuff only has two photo cards, and I didn't know where to put them because I have all four for the first one, so like it, it wouldn't look- it would look weird in the setup. And then the welcoming collection stuff, because there's Polaroids and then I have my other setup for the 2020 one, there's only two photo cards and one random postcard Polaroid thingy, so I didn't know where to put those either, so th I, I didn't make placeholders for them. So there's those things. I think it's just those things that I am planning on still getting and want to get, but didn't know where to put placeholders for, so you won't see a clip for that. So I believe it's just the postcard size items and the Hello Bubble stuff that you see clips for. Yeah. Okay lol bye also jenny's so hot okay bye the one thing i was looking at was these bad boys i feel like i could change these and make a page with the hello bubble stuff um 
I feel like it would look kind of cute. The only issue then is I don't know what the hell to do with these three summer diary cards. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. So, for now, all I'm gonna do is this ugly ass layout thing that I've done. I did it like a few times. It's very rare that I only have three cards on a page. But the voice film is a Polaroid, I think, but it's a different kind of thing. So there. I'll just do that and have the three in the center for now. I think this will change once I get stuff actually in the mail and like buy items and stuff. But for now, we're gonna stick with that. I will set up a page for the bubble and these. The bubble merch obviously came after, but I think I'm gonna put it at the end just because the bubble merch came after this and this came before this. So the issue is where do I put it? I think light stick stuff will stay here and then this is an OT4 set, so I'm just gonna put it back here and then all the other kind of random stuff will go here. So I'm gonna go get out a nine pocket page. So same kind of layout as before. I really like doing this six pocket layout when it's with like a six page with two different kinds of cards, if that makes sense. Like if it's like six cards from the same album, I'll just do the two, 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 but I really like the way this layout looks. So then I'll just make placeholders for the bubble merch. So for Hello Bubble, there is two clear cards, which I consider the A and B ones. What I'm gonna put here and then here, and then there's one that might also be a clear card. I'm not sure, but it has a pink backing. So since that is the different one, it's also horizontal like this. So that'll go here. I'll just show quickly. So this one will go here, this one will go here, and this one will go here. So the C one will go here. And I think that I will like that layout. I think it'll look cute. The clear cards, I might end up putting in white sleeves. Um, I don't know, I usually put my clear cards in white sleeves, but then you wouldn't really see the backs. So the layout might look kind of off, so I might end up putting them in clear sleeves, I'm not sure. Anyways, that's that. Again, Rosie on the back. Then we go to the random section. I really would like to collect kind of all Jenny random stuff, like all Jenny merch, everything that she has, but it's just so much and black pink are really overpriced sometimes. And since I already collect everything for BTS, I think it would just be too much to do that. So we have the pre-debut postcards and the black pink house postcard, which can all probably go in one three pocket, I'm thinking, I don't know, size wise, but I think it would look cute. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna get for that, unless I put the pre-debut postcards in a two pocket, and then I can have a two pocket with the black pink house postcard and then the loft black pink postcard. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. So what I'm gonna do right now, you'll see. So starting off with the pre-debut postcards, these will be going in a two pocket. So one, two, three. And then moving on to the other postcards. So I have the black, the black pink house one. This is just chronological order. And then the loft black pink pre-order one, or purchase one. Um, these I'm keeping separately at the back just because I want to have them all on one page. So I can't really put it chronologically with everything else. That's really it. Um, I'm going to kind of clean up now and then film my outro. Okay, so I would normally kind of do a flip through of how I've changed layouts of everything. But I'm pretty sure I did that while I was going like through and changing it all. Um, like after I change a section, I do a mini flip through of it. And yeah, if you care to see everything I have in my Blackpink collection, like in more depth, 
then you can look at my photo card collection video i just uploaded i'll link it in the cards and down below but i also think there's two of these sticker sheets so i have to figure that out but yeah that is all i'm very happy to finally have black pink in their own binder so that is it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully i'll be able to get it up i have one video the season's greetings video already pre-filmed so i'm gonna upload that next and then it'll probably be this and then, like i don't know i have a lot of videos and things that i want to film hopefully i'm able to get them all up and i don't spam post too much because i like to only post one or two times a week but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um it's a mess please wish me good luck with some of this stuff uh, i am pretty good with jenny's collection in general with like the dvd and album stuff in my opinion but there's some stuff and some areas i would like to work on a bit so mm -hmm. i hope you guys enjoyed again thank you so much for 700 subscribers i really really am grateful and thankful for it make sure you like this video if you liked it and if you want to see more of me and my content subscribe down below and that's all have a good day bye